this really is that once in a lifetime moment. This is exactly what we've been preparing for. The weather cooperated, Mother Nature cooperated, and right now we are seeing one of Earth's most magnificent spectacles. 13 on your side presents the Great American Eclipse. We've officially crossed to the Indiana border and we are exactly one day and four hours from totality. We are 19 hours and 49 minutes from totality. We've almost finished editing our first package from being at the fair earlier today. And then we're going to head back down to the festival, the Total Eclipse Festival here in Richmond, Indiana, for our live shots starting at 6.30. What do you think first time experiencing this? What do you think the emotion's gonna be like? What do you expect? Um, almost like a spiritual sensation, but um, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I think it has to be experienced to uh, really know. So my name is Cameron Bass. Um, I'm actually from Ohio, but I've lived in Richmond here for about three or four years now. I don't know exactly, you know, in the moment you're just so overwhelmed with like, oh my God, this is like sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity where the sky is going dark in the middle of the day. And um, I don't know, it does bring about this sort of like sense of there's so much to life and this is just a, a cool moment that we get to be a part of. We are 17 hours and 19 minutes out from totality, getting some dinner and then headed off to bed before the Great American Solar Eclipse. We are 16 hours and 24 minutes out from totality. Rain's coming down now, but that's a good sign that this is going to be cleared out of here before tomorrow's solar eclipse. We are seven hours and 30 minutes out from totality. Up dark and early this morning. The best news is that we're already starting to see stars in the sky. That's good news in terms of clearing conditions. The, the real trick is not to, not to expect to take pictures, just experience it, be there for the moment. Uh, some people have called this, a, this kind of a, an event a soul-changing or a soul-searching experience, and uh, it's good to just, just be human. You don't have to be a scientist, you don't have to be a, a, a photographer, just experience it and, and be there in the moment. We are two hours and 52 minutes out from totality, checking out the Model T Ford Museum here in Richmond, Indiana, and the forecast is still looking beautiful. I am just in awe of what we are about to experience. Look at the skies, everybody. Completely clear. We are expecting some high cirrus clouds to filter in throughout the day today, but it should not be enough to obstruct our view, which we are so grateful for. So that total solar eclipse is going to hit at 3.08. We are going to be live on air and online from 2.30 to 3.30 with special coverage led by Elena Holland and Lauren Baker. We'll have people live in the field stretching from Richmond, Indiana to Little Rock, Arkansas. It's 1.52 and it is all officially began here in Richmond, Indiana. We are in stage one, which means first contact of the moon to the sun. Now, if you want to look at it, you have to put the glasses on. Hey everyone, good afternoon. It's Eclipse Day. I'm Elena Holland. And I'm Lauren Baker. Thank you so much for joining us on our special coverage this afternoon. We're about 30 minutes away from the eclipse and we have team coverage on the nationwide event. Our meteorologist George, Sam, and Blake are live from Little Rock, Arkansas to right here in Muskegon, ready to explain what exactly is happening in the sky this afternoon. And 13 Your Side reporters Josh Albertus and Micah Cho are attending watch parties where many are anticipating the solar eclipse. But first, we'll start with meteorologist Samantha Jacks live from Richmond, Indiana. Sam, what are you seeing out there right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, Lauren, Elena, the energy right now here in Richmond, Indiana is palpable. You can just tell we are ready for this total solar eclipse. <laughs> 
Lauren, Elena, hearing George's reaction gave me chills. I can only imagine what we're going to be experiencing just 10 minutes from now. The atmosphere, the sky, our surroundings have changed so much from the start of this show. And we're joined by an astronomer here at the university. Thank you so much, Dr. West Chauvin, for joining us today. Tell us a little bit about the stage that we're in right now. Well, right now we're coming up on first contact here in about 10 minutes. Uh, that's when the totality begins. And uh, we've already, we already can see visually it's darker. Uh, colors are starting to change just a little bit and uh, we're starting to see some really dramatic pinhole effects. Absolutely. Let's explain what that is to our viewers who aren't in totality right now. I'm going to hold out this paper that just has normal circle hole punches on it. Explain what's happening to us. So as the light is coming through the pinholes and reaching down here to the ground, it's, it's actually displaying the appearance of the, the partial eclipse from each of those individual little pinholes um, all the way around. Uh, pinhole viewing is one great way that you can uh, explore the eclipse in partial, uh, as it's a partial eclipse. Um, but at the same time, remember that you're always uh, shining the light towards something else. Don't look through it with your own eyes. Shine it on something else. Absolutely, and that's why we don't have to have our glasses on at this moment, because we're not looking into the sun. If we were looking into the sun, we're immediately putting the glasses on. Another thing I'm noticing is how dark the shadows look. Yes. Why is that? Well, the edges of the shadows are actually getting sharper, which makes it look a lot darker, but also the sliver of the sun is so much smaller that we're actually getting less light. Okay. So it makes the shadows appear much darker. We're now just minutes away from meteorologist Samantha Jacks experiencing 100% totality in Richmond, Indiana. Sam, I hope everyone has their solar eclipse glasses nearby. Guys, we are just minutes away. It's getting kind of loud here, a little bit tricky to hear you all back in the studio. But at this point in time, what I'm looking at, I'll look away from the sun for right now, but what I'm looking at at this point in time is this change in color surrounding me. We are just minutes away from experiencing totality. The other thing that our astronomer, I'm gonna put these back on so I can glance back up, told me to look out for is starting to see little changes of color surrounding the corona of this total solar eclipse. He says that we should be experiencing and seeing little flares, and actually I am seeing a little flare off of the, wow, oh my gosh. That is incredible. We are not in totality yet. You can still see a sliver of the sun at this point in time, but that it's just this little glare of fire that's coming right up off of it. And when you put your glasses on and check it out, it is just absolutely miraculous at this point in time. Let's... I'm just listening right now to what the astronomer is saying at this point in time. Yeah, so at this point in time, he's explaining that you're starting to notice the color of the sky changing to a purple hue. I also, you know what, I've got this in my pocket here. This is actually a temperature sensor, and this is an experiment that I really wanted to do during the total solar eclipse. So right now, the pavement is sitting at 77 degrees. What we're going to experience happen during this total solar eclipse is a complete temperature drop, but we are just minutes away here, maybe even seconds at this point in time. I'm not entirely sure of the time. It is just wisping away piece by piece. I can still see a little crescent of the sun. One thing that we need to remember in a moment like this, this awe-inspiring moment, is that the sun is 400 times larger than the moon, okay? 400 times larger than the moon, but the moon is 400 times closer to the earth. And so that is how that magic can happen, right? That is how you're able to get this beautiful moment in science where the moon can cover something that is so much larger from our presence here on earth. It is the middle of the day. We are talking just after three o'clock and the light is slowly dimming away around us. I'm actually starting to get chills because you can really start to see the change. I don't know if you guys can notice what's happening at home, but it really, really is miraculous. Shadow bands are starting to go across the cement at this point in time. Okay, that is what Dr. Westhoven is telling us to look for. Oh, and you can see it, it's like a little pinwheel that's spinning around us. 
And here it is. Oh my goodness! We are officially in totality! Wow! Listen to everybody around us. Oh my gosh! Wow. This truly is an out of this world experience. Oh my goodness, it just takes your breath away. If you look closely, what he's telling us right now is that we can see some solar flares from the western side of this. You can see Venus off to the side as well. We need to get people's reactions. And now everybody can take their glasses off because we are in totality at this point in time, right? So we no longer need to be wearing these solar eclipse glasses. How's everybody feeling right now? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. This one's amazing. No cap. Hey, this is once a lifetime opportunity. This is great. We are thankful for IU East and doing this. Yes, oh, absolutely, oh, absolutely. What are you guys so feeling? Amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, this never so seen cool. anything like this. this. So cool. So cool. Yeah. Absolutely. This is crazy. How about you? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? This is like a once in a lifetime thing. It's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> tell, tell the viewers at home. What, what are, the, what are you seeing right now? Um, a total eclipse. A total solar eclipse. Another thing that you can see around us is that we've got this 360 sunset that led us to this dusk look in the middle of the afternoon. How is everybody feeling? Yeah, what's this like? What's this like? What's going through your head? Um, wasn't expecting it to look like this, to be honest. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, cooler than you imagined, right? Yeah. Truly, just it takes your breath away. It gives you chills. It, I mean, it looks like something truly out of a movie. What are you watching? No. Yeah, that's understandable. That's understandable. Wow. Yes, okay, so we've got animals. Animals are reacting to this. That's something that we're expected to be listening for and paying attention to. This really is that once in a lifetime moment. This is exactly what we've been preparing for. The weather cooperated, Mother Nature cooperated, and right now we are seeing one of Earth's most magnificent spectacles. Wow, I am just absolutely in awe. Doug Grievous is behind the camera. Amari, put that microphone up to Doug. Doug, how are you feeling? You love astronomy and science almost as much as I do. Oh, yeah, this is incredible. Yeah. Uh, you know, like everyone said, the pictures don't do it justice. Yeah. I wish, it's something you gotta go see. Yeah, I wish that I could come up with more words to say. Hey, how are you? About what's going on? This is awesome. This is totally awesome. Uh, you, you hear about it, but you don't, until you see it, you don't really know what you're gonna look at. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it truly is. It truly, truly is. The fact that it is completely dark outside at this point in time, we can see stars, we can see planets because the sun is that powerful that it makes it completely block out all of these incredible things during the day. And something as small as the moon can line up just right every once in a while to make this perfect event happen. We'll check back in with you guys in just a few minutes here. Until then, we're gonna keep enjoying this moment. That's a wrap on the 2024 Great American Solar Eclipse. Our day started at 2 a.m., it's wrapping up at 7 p.m., and I wouldn't change a single second. One of the most incredible experiences of my 